And now, it is time for the Royal Rumble match. Now in this match, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all four superstars have entered the ring. Now the only way to be eliminated is to be thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last man in the ring will be declared the winner of the Royal Rumble and will advance to the main event of WrestleMania. Introducing the individual who drew number two from Chapelle, Minnesota, weighing 232 pounds, Michael McGillicuddy. the bell and here we go with the Royal Rumble of course in this match being number one or two puts you at a complete disadvantage now, it's not impossible to win from those spots it's been done before but I wouldn't bet on it big move coming Oof. Hawk comes up with a devastating counter looking to get an elimination King what's the strategy for a Royal Rumble I'd say stay out of the way as much as possible. Let your opponents do the work. Only expend energy when you know you can get... Oh, that was close. He's coming back through the ropes. Who's going to enter next? It's Drew McIntyre. He might be done here. Again, this match is to determine the number one contender for the championship at WrestleMania. Now, there goes Michael McGillicuddy. Fine, Jory. Look at the eyes of McIntyre. Everything he does is with purpose. WWE Magazine out this month, and you'll find some interesting articles in there about all the superstars here in the WWE. Not fast enough. Dangerous impact to the neck. Hawk is so ready for this. He's got that engine to the red line right now. And that one hurt his hand. Who's next? He's wearing down the midsection. It's Justin Gabriel. You'll see superstars use strategies like hooking the ropes, hooking the turnbuckle, anything to stay off the floor. Oh man, Justin just connected with a stiff kick. He's in a precarious position. Justin Gabriel has tremendous tenacity. I'm not sure I've ever seen this young man quit. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. It's so hard to keep Drew McIntyre down. Drew McIntyre from behind. 
Entry number five. Who's it going to be? Uh-oh. He's in trouble. Drew McIntyre is playing tremendous aggression in the early goings. McIntyre is always so ruthless. And tonight is no exception. Well, Drew McIntyre has what I like to call a brutal drive. And we've already seen that on display. At what point, King, do those thoughts creep in of, what do I have to do to put this match to rest? And I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. And he's still in this. He's almost out right here. Drew McIntyre has been eliminated. Oh, right on the spine. This Justin Gabriel is so athletic. He's fast, agile, and willing to go high risk to get the win. One of the things you have to come to terms with in the Royal Rumble is you can work with a partner all you want, but in the end, it's every man for himself. It's Captain Charisma. It's Christian. He's on the ropes in the corner. He could be done here. The Royal Rumble really is our all-star game, except our all-star game actually means something. A guaranteed opportunity in the main event at WrestleMania. Christian is such a well-rounded superstar with a lot of experience in big matches. Do you remember when I won the Royal Rumble? You did? I mean, I know you've come close to setting records for at least amount of time in the ring. Hey, come on now, wait a minute. Going for the elimination, trying to get one step closer to his dreams. Got the arm up. Who's coming out next? Chavo Guerrero. What will he have up his sleeve? Christian likes a fast-paced offense. He enjoys feeding off the energy of the WWE Universe. The tide has turned again. They're going to fight to the end. There's so many aspects to Christian's game that makes him exciting to watch. There's his third elimination. We all know what's at stake in the Royal Rumble. A chance to headline WrestleMania in a place in the history books. No lack of confidence as Christian, especially in this type of match. Oh, the punch connects. He's nearly out of this one. John Cena's not here to win a popularity contest. He's come to win through grit and determination. Chavo's been taken out. We're about to have another one. It's time to see what Heath Slater can do. Cena's held world titles on numerous occasions. Nobody has a champion's drive like John Cena. You need eyes in the back of your head in a rumble. You never know who's going to sneak up from behind. You could be set for a ride. John Cena came here tonight to battle. John Cena came here looking for a fight. And that's exactly what he's going to get. Right to the chin with the knee. Whether you cheer him or not, John Cena evokes more emotion out of our fans than anybody in WWE history. You know, I think the entire WWE Universe likes Cena. They like to have fun with him. Again, this is every man for himself. Which one will win this first leg on the road to WrestleMania? Oh my gosh, it's Nash, it's Kevin Nash. He might be going. Christian has said he loves to test himself, be it against young talent or seasoned veterans. Christian enjoys a challenge. Again, each one of these men fighting and clawing for their shot at headlining WrestleMania. There's so many impressive things about John Cena, but maybe the most impressive gift he has is his mental toughness. I'm not sure I've ever seen Cena lose focus in a match. Whoa, look how groggy he looks. He's in desperation here. Hawk working the neck. Neck breaker. Hawk nails his patented move. Number 10 
will be joining us momentarily. Uh-oh, Christian's been eliminated. It's the world's largest athlete, the Big Show. Again, the winner of this Royal Rumble match will go on to headline WrestleMania in two months. A lot of superstars have a hard time keeping up with the speed of Heath Slater. This young man is very fast. Slater can go, we know that. He's still in this one. The damage has definitely been done. Now it may just be a matter of time. <laughs> Hawk loves a good fist fight. Watch it. He's Slater. You talk about a cocky, confident athlete. You know, I guess he has reason to be, Michael. Watch it. John Cena, poised with the attitude adjustment. Attitude adjustment. comes up with a seasoned reversal. And Cena drives into the ground. Attitude adjustment. In the corner, just a few feet from being out of this. As much as John Cena likes to have fun, when he steps in that ring, it's all business. And the time just flies, doesn't it? With Jack Swagger, the All-American American, with a genetic disposition to succeed in this contest. Now taking a moment to feel those ribs and kick, it appears that there may be some internal damage. It looks like it. Those ribs have been targeted so many times over the course of this match, I wouldn't be shocked if one or two maybe cracked right now. I don't care who's in the ring with Swagger. You can't out-grapple the two-time All-American. And now trying to figure out how to hoist this man over the top rope. Nice counter right there by this young man, Heath Slater. The thing about Jack Swagger and his approach to sports entertainment is he's deceivingly big and deceivingly powerful. Well, Swagger's close to 6'6 and already 265 pounds. He's so young, you know he's going to get bigger as the years go on. Trying to thin the herd. is an extraordinary athlete. A massive powerhouse is Big Daddy Cool. I can't believe it! Cena's been eliminated! Uh-oh, trying to put him away. Hawk is showing no mercy here tonight. He's hanging on again here. When Big Show is motivated to do something, there's not another man in the world that can stop him. And he's very motivated tonight. Oh, man, that's not where you want to be in this type of match. Oh, Nash looks like one ticked-off monster. Kevin Nash with a devastating counter. Oh man, that's gotta hurt. He might be done here. Outside of the ring, Kevin Nash likes to have a good time. And inside the ring, Big Sexy is all business. Stone Hawk is out! Remember, no pinfalls, no submissions. You must throw your opponent over the top rope with both feet touching the floor. He might have dodged his last foot. These competitors trying to keep their wits about them. Swagger is so confident in his ability. Oh, his back crashing into the ground. Nash call that. Nash controlling the head. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Powerbomb, a massive jackknife powerbomb from Kevin Nash. How compromised is the leg? I mean, King, 
you can see the pain all over his face. Oh, that thing is just all messed up. Next entrance, getting ready to come out. It's Vader. This isn't good. What a match. Momentum has shifted back and forth repeatedly between these superstars. Big Show has destroyed everything in his path. as volatile as the 400-pound monster Vader. Whoa, 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 whoa. Show's got him. He's got him up. Big Show with pure physical dominance. Is he, is he out? No, he made it back in. Have you ever been over to Big Show's house? Hang on. <sighs> Another spine-jarring jackknife. Moments away from the next difference. See him run. CM Punk now gets his opportunity in this match. Good teamwork there. Over the years, Vader's crippled countless competitors. Will we see his next victim tonight? Precarious position. Uh-oh. It looks like all that punishment to the arm is definitely taking its toll. Big right hand, right to the chin. Swagger's amateur background, it's so hard to outmaneuver that young man. The 441 pounder has been eliminated. And there's the belly to belly suplex. He's really been zeroed in on, but he's still showing some signs of life. Uh oh, he's in trouble. Oh, he's coming back in. I've watched Vader for a long time, and let me tell you, there have been natural disasters that cause less damage than this monster. On the bottom rope, hanging on for dear life. Bye-bye, big sexy. Wow, that was a massive German suplex. Oh, no! Austin goes behind. And there's a fight for survival going on in the corner. Oh, what a smack. The man who likes to tell the devil kick to the gut. What a stunner. Nice, well-placed kick to the ribs. It's almost time for the next competitor. Could we be on the verge of an elimination? It's the enforcer. It's the fucking Vader. What a power bomb from Vader. Blocked. Hugs out. Schreiber is extremely intelligent. Not only is he a two-time All-American, he was also an academic All-American. Arn Anderson's a KG veteran. He's not going to beat you with his speed, but if history's any indicator, he will beat you. Across the shoulders, Vader may have just broken his back. Countered by the Texas Rattlesnake. Get ready, another superstar is about to head out. Here comes a -Rod. Oh, his spine bending and cracking from that backbreaker. And Austin counters it. Watch out here. Atomic drop. He has just been punished in this one. Looking for a way to get the elimination, but there's no instruction manual on this. 
grinding. Anderson squeezing down on the head. And that's why you never want to make Vader mad. Not this time. Ooh, Vader's got to be seeing stars after that. And maybe this will be it. Alex Riley told me earlier tonight he has one gear, and that's go. That's funny. When Riley stops me to talk, all I want to do is go. It's The Undertaker. Look at the eyes. Arn's setting him up. DDT. DDT from Arn Anderson. A monstrous blow from Vader. Going for the elimination. Trying to get one step closer to his dreams. Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy watching. What a move! What a smart move! And a shot to the solar plexus. Oh, another boot to the midsection. Uh-oh, this is bad. I love the potential of Alex Riley. This guy's got it all. Charisma, look, and ability. He's trying to get the blood flowing to his brain. Right on the tailbone. We're gonna see a watch it, watch it. Stone Cold Stutter. Who's gonna enter next? Oh, just dragging his hands into the throat. And here comes the pain. The Undertaker has so many weapons at his disposal. The choke slam, Hell's Gate, old school, last ride, and of course the tombstone pile driver. Yeah, but the main weapon in my mind are his two destructive fists. You do not want to get into a slug nest with a dead man. And he's fighting to stay. Watch it! Oh my gosh! Great reaction. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Feeling the side of his face here, Michael. Well, from what we've seen, he could very well have a fractured jaw. Hey! And the body contorts in an unnatural way. He has just worn him out. King, look at the way he's feeling that arm. Yeah, I think he's checking to see if it's still in one piece. Undertaker's looking for some massive impact. Trump stone pile driver. My God, the Undertaker just buried him. Undertaker, the man from the dark side, never ceases to amaze. It's like he's admonishing his legs, saying, don't look, no. A-Rise been taken out. Here comes Sin Cara. And the Phenom, one step ahead. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, man. He landed right on his neck from that German suplex. These matches are so dangerous. You never know when or where you're going to get attacked from. That one right to the head. Lesnar had that scouted. Looking to get an elimination. A quick knee lift. Arn Anderson can do so many things well. He's a baller, a grappling specialist, well-versed in submissions. Well, he's the enforcer, Michael. Plain and simple. And Sin Cara gets eliminated. Undertaker, without question, the most dangerous man in WWE history. Oh, yeah. There's never been anyone else even remotely close to the Phenom. Here comes Sheamus. And for the second time in this match, he could be out of here. This Brock Lesnar guy may physically be on a completely different level than anybody else I've ever met. Undertaker's thinking about it again. And Undertaker delivers another tombstone pile driver. When is the last time you saw Undertaker go down like that? Look at this, look at this. Vicious shot to the lower back. High impact, no mistakes. That's Undertaker style. I don't think so. Who's next? Trying to thin the herd. The 
big red monster in his history. You know Kane will have a profound effect to this one. Boo! Vader's been taken out. Nice better move by the enforcer. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, that was close. He's coming back through the ropes. We talk a lot about Undertaker. He is a man that personifies resilience. And the knuckles connect. And the flow of this match has changed once again. Sheamus is enjoying this. I mean, he relishes inflicting pain and agony on his opponents. Hanging out again. Brock Lesnar is an animal. An animal that is obsessed with being a world champion. And he's still in this. Look at the wars Undertaker has been in. And he's still here. He survived them all. He's in a bad spot again. Who's coming out next? Ezekiel Jackson looks ready to go. He's nearly out of this one. A nice reversal by The Undertaker. Oh, short shot to the throat. This could be big right here. Kane, with all that strength, all that power, has got to be intimidating. Painfully intimidating. Drop kick. And that series ends in deadlock. Neither one of these superstars can afford to give their opponent the upper hand. Tombstone! He could be set for a ride. Moving on pure instinct now. What will it take to finish this superstar? Oh, look at it. Uh-oh. He's in trouble. Come on. Don't do this, Sheamus. High cross. Sheamus launched him at least 10 feet. He's got to be careful here. That leg's been so damaged, it could buckle at any moment. and Joy showing absolutely no remorse. beating anyone with his freakish physique but he's also capable of using any underhanded tactic he can think of He's fought out of it. Oh, right to the gut. There goes Ezekiel Jackson. Pain enjoys punishing his opponent. The dead man's gone. What is it about Sheamus that just makes him so strong? Who knows? I know it works, though, whatever it is. Huh. Oh, boy! Tombstone pile driver. Kane planted him head first. Big move coming. All the damage to the torso, all the pain that's been dealt, appears to have finally taken its toll. 
and maybe this will be it. The demented Kane is full of rage tonight. I don't believe it. Brock Lesnar's been eliminated. We're about to have another one. Kane brings a new meaning to the phrase manhandling. Randy Orton enters with malicious intent. He's set up in the corner. Can he find the right combination of moves to pick up the elimination? You got Double A controlling the waist. Countered by Sheamus. Them with the X handle. Orton's going into that almost psychotic state that he could turn himself into. Oh, Michael, he's a third generation superstar. His family's been in the industry for nearly a hundred years. <laughs> Being aggressive like this, it's in his blood. These matches are so dangerous. You never know when or where you're going to get attacked from. I mean, the time just flies, doesn't it? on the apron. Can he force him to get both feet to touch the floor? And now the ultimate offer. Double A is gone. Great match here. But if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. And there's a hard right hand. Oh, the power of pain. And now trying to shove and fight and hoist his opponent over the rope and out of the ring. Back and forth this match goes. Oh, the more momentum Kane builds, the more terrifying this match becomes. Looking to get an elimination. Next entrance, getting ready to come out. It's Road Warrior Animal. Randy Orton is just unbalanced. There's nothing as terrifying as looking into the Viper's eyes when he's in this kind of mental state. He's in a precarious position. Is he, is he out? No, he made it back in. Ah, look at this! And Orton just unloading with a huge right. Ah. What a backer. Uh-oh, he's in trouble. Time and again, Edge has shown that he's capable of doing anything to win a match. Oh. And that makes him extremely dangerous. It's Wade Barrett! To show us what you got, Wade. This is where Orton becomes aggressive. It's almost like he's wrestling with thoughts inside his head, struggling to find out what he's going to do next. When to take it to that next gear, that next level. Very smart move there by the veteran Road Warrior. During his time on NXT, Wade Barrett was believed by many, including myself, to be the best all-around rookie on the program. He's hanging on again here. If you want to look for a motivation behind Barrett's aggression, it's the almighty dollar. The former bare-knuckle fighter is always looking for a way to pad his already sizable bank account. Oh, man. He got turned inside out. Now that's how you do it. Nice catch. Moments away from the next entry. What happened? Demolition. Here comes X. Barrett had that well scouted. Very intelligent is Barrett. He gave plans before every one of his matches. Here comes the X. If you haven't done it yet, check out WWE.com. You'll find updates and blogs from all your favorite superstars. There's a counter by X. Edge connected. Edge got all that one. 
Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. Spine buster. That'll take its toll. Oh, no! Atomic drop. It's almost time for the next competitor. Watch it. He's yes. Eddie. Eddie. It's Eddie Guerrero. Trying to thin the herd. Edge is so good at what he does. He's the best. What a star-studded rumble match this has been. Get him pushing with everything he has. Trying to break that grasp on the bottom rope. Royal Rumble rules. The only way to be eliminated is to go over the top rope and have... Oh, he's coming back in. I want to touch on something real quick, and that's the cunning of the Rated R Superstar. For most guys, when they get in the ring against Edge, they're already in a psychological disadvantage. Oh, whoa, whoa! Get ready! Another superstar's about to head out! Here comes Demolition Member Smash! Oh, that was close. He's coming back through the ropes. Oh, my goodness. Eddie Guerrero is just so hard to stop. The official's going to have his hands full with Guerrero. You know he's going to be looking for any opportunity to win this. Could we be on the verge of an elimination? He's still not through. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. Again, thank you for joining us tonight for the Royal Rumble. for the elimination, trying to get one step closer to his dreams. Edge just taking advantage of every opportunity. Who's coming out at number 30? Matches are so dangerous. You never know when or where you're going to get attacked from. No chance. That's one shot. Edge may be many things, but one thing he's not is afraid of a fight. From behind. Oh, did you see that? His body twisting and turning in a sickening way. Smart thinking by Edge. Looking to get an elimination. Oh, what a counter by Eddie. This guy's so good. <laughs> Trying to thin the herd. Time smashes in the ring. The match turns into a demolition derby. Three eliminations. He's making his presence felt in this match. Axe is vicious. He's focused and he's ready to go to battle in this one. Smart counter there from Axe. Who's going to enter next? Having to fight for his life again. Here comes the Hall of Famer. It's Ricky, the Dragon Steamboat. He might have dodged his last point. Everything about Smash is intimidating. His ring attire, his face paint, his name. You know when you see this guy in the ring, you're in deep trouble. Again. He saw that one coming, and Edge is done. He's nearly out of this one. Axe sporting the face paint, which he uses to help intimidate his opponents. 
right on the tailbone. Who's next? William Regal, the 2008 King of the Ring. He could be set for a ride. You are watching the global phenomenon known as the Royal Rumble. This event is being broadcast worldwide to the United Kingdom and Canada and elsewhere in locations like Australia and Mexico. And of course, to our fighting... And he's still in this. Hey! Dropped right on the back of the head off an explosive German suplex. He might be going. The Royal Rumble's always so exciting. You never know when your friend or... He's still in this one. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. He's fought out of it. Look at the corner, Michael. This doesn't bode well. Who's coming out next? Here comes Mason Ryan. Regal, vicious, and physical. And Axe is out. It looks like all that punishment to the arm is definitely taking its toll. Regal has the headlock. What a kick that was. Look how great Steve-O looks. This is fantastic. And now trying to muscle him out over the top rope. Mason Ryan's a man of few words who likes to let his actions in the ring speak for him. Yeah, and those words, more often than not, are quite scary. They're about to have another one. Can you now we're talking. So it's the dragon is eliminated. A big shot from Smash. He's got over the top rope. Now will he get both feet to hit the floor? <laughs> Atomic drop. Should do it in the corner, fighting to stay in the ring, fighting for survival. Is he is he out? No, he made it back in. This massive Mason Ryan is so vicious. And this guy seems to have only one purpose, and that's to injure people. Big shot leveling Booker T. Boy, the time just flies, doesn't it? And now we'll see what Morrissey can do in this match. Booker T brings tremendous experience. A multi-time world champion. He's a king of the ring winner and a tag team specialist. Booker's accomplished just about everything in our business. Remember, it's over the top rope. Both feet touching the floor. John Morrison is proficient in parkour. Parkour being the art of movement, allowing Morrison to do things unlike anybody else in the WWE. Too slow. He's on the ropes in the corner. He could be done here. Oh, look out! Next entrance, getting ready to come out. Now William Regal keeps control of his opponent. Here comes the incomparable Rey Mysterio. One thing we've learned about John Morrison King, he has tremendous resilience. Yeah, and with that unique hardcore wrestling style of his, you never know what he's going to come up with at any time. Morrison's got some nasty thoughts here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Rey Mysterio is a walking example of why Psy should prevent athletic success. Rey is living proof that anyone can achieve greatness if they work hard enough. Oh, 
Galloway slam, my goodness, the strength. When you're beat up, the last thing you want to have to deal with is Regal's been eliminated. Booker T one step ahead. Could we be on the verge of an elimination? Well, Booker T is focused here. Mysterio's out. Wow. Smash gets a big counter. Booker T stands six and a half feet tall. Runs around 250 pounds. So dangerous. Morrison's caught him, man. C4. Morrison hits an explosive move. There's the quickness and agility. I can't believe he can still go like that. Matches are so dangerous. Never know when or where you're gonna get attacked from. Once again, momentum has changed. And for as long as Morrison keeps the momentum, this match will remain fast-paced and unpredictable. John Morrison is so tough and gritty, well-versed in both striking and high-flying. He might be done here, moments away from the next entry. Time for some controlled frenzy. Oh, he's coming back in. Mason Ryan into the headlock. He plants him down with authority. I have a feeling we're going to see several more demonstrations like that before the night's over. When you face Kingston, you hope to ground it and to regulate that controlled frenzy. Well, you can hope to do that all you want, but I really don't think it's possible. <laughs> Impressive counter there by Morrison. Right in the kisser. <laughs> Hanging on for the second time in this match. I can see people looking at the hair and physique of John Morrison. It's David A. List Otunga's turn. Thanks to his unique training, Morrison's defined himself now as one of the great innovators in WWE history. Yeah, you never know what John's gonna do next. To the chin with the knee. A heavy fist from Otunga. Looking to get an elimination. He's stretching out that torso, checking for any bruises, and you know they're there. If this is your first time getting a look at David Otunga, pay attention to his power and his attitude. Remember, it's there goes Mason Ryan. Kofi's unorthodox offense has racked up quite a record here in the WWE since debuting in early 2008. It's almost time for the next competitor. Here comes Del Rio. Morrison's been eliminated. David Otunga controlling the head. What a shot Kofi just took. What do you think of that haircut on Otunga, King? It only cost him 295 bucks. Makes sense to me. Where do you go for your haircuts, Michael? The school for the visually impaired? Oh, David Otunga just planted him. Telegraph to Del Rio answers back. Alberto Del Rio loves to utilize that arm bar of his. Oh, yeah. I don't care how big and strong you are. When Del Rio slaps that on, you're going to tap. Get ready. The Kingston's got him hooked. Here comes the new favorite. Mark Wow. Is Kofi spring loaded? Trying to thin the herd.
about the way he's holding his arm. That could signal some form of nerve damage. Kofi with a nice reversal. Kofi's got him in big trouble. On the ropes, fighting for survival. And now almost pleading with that injured leg to work. Yeah, at this point, he may want to consider walking away to fight another day. Can't some people limp their way to great? Otunga's caught him. Reversed by Kofi. Huge shot to the temple. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, uh, if things continue to go like they are, Otunga's ego may need its own ride home. And that's it for Kofi. King, you have to admit, though, Del Rio is awesome in the ring. No, I don't have to admit it. This guy really doesn't impress me that much. I mean, I haven't seen anybody bend and break the rules as much as Alberto Del Rio. And he's fighting to stay alive for the second time in this match. And I would love to be like Alberto Del Rio, my own ranch in northern Mexico. And best of all, when I come out, I can have my own ring announcer. you got to be kidding me. This guy is so arrogant. He is so pompous. I can't wait to see him get brought down a notch. And for the second time in this match, he could be out of here. Oh, that was close. He's coming back through the ropes. It's so hard to keep the A-lister down. Ooh, a skull-crushing impact. in a bad spot again. What's Del Rio going to do with this? Intercepted. Mark Henry is one of those rare guys that can just pummel you with one or two shots. Shots that you won't get up from. Crushing damage directly delivered to the back. Man, I love this guy. Alberto Del Rio, a real Mexican aristocrat. Now, I think you just love his fancy cars, Michael. Just because your car still has that pizza sign on top of it. Uh-oh. This is not going to be pretty. Could we be on the verge of an elimination? King, and those repeated blows to the skull have definitely taken their toll. Well, I don't know if the head was intentionally focused on, but it definitely took a lot of damage. These matches are so dangerous. You never know when or where you're going to get attacked from. I wonder if I can rent Ricardo Rodriguez for the night, that he can introduce me when I come to the ring. If I rented Ricardo Rodriguez for a night, I'd have the oil in his hair changed. Mark Henry can cave your skull in with one of those. Impressive counter by Alberto. In all honesty, Michael, if Alberto Del Rio does have a weakness, what is it? Well, some people would say his kindness could be his weakness. He does a lot of charity, does Alberto Del Rio. Look at this. Can you believe this dominating power? Thanks for coming. with Mark Henry. Oh, this isn't good. That's it. He's done. Oh, what a shot. Oh, there's another hit. I think I know who's going to be eliminated next. 
Well, outside the ring, Mark Henry may be one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. But inside, well, inside you get this. Boy, Otunga stuck that one. I think I saw a tooth fly out. And now trying to figure out how to hoist this man over the top rope. Telegraphed and Henry capitalizes. Looking to get an elimination. The ebb and flow of this match is just incredible. Mark Henry's been unleashed. Mark Henry gets the win. Here is your winner, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. He wins the Royal Rumble. He's going to WrestleMania. It doesn't get any bigger than this.